Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sugar Book. How's everybody doing? It's December 26, 2020. Yesterday was a crazy day, man. You know, for those who celebrate Christmas, and for those who live in the state of Tennessee, Nashville, to be specific, uh, and for anybody who was uh, suffering from or was affected by the bombing that occurred yesterday morning, um, I just want to send out my prayers to all the families and anybody who was in, impacted by that situation. So uh, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, best way I can, and uh, give y'all some little insight of how things have been going on with me since I've been out here on the road and uh, things that I've learned and that I have witnessed out here being on the roads. I witnessed a lot of stuff out here, good and bad. So uh, y'all stay tuned, don't go nowhere. I'm back y'all first thing I want to say is if y'all tune into the video make sure y'all like subscribe comment down below show some love to your boy man I've been out here for a while I just feel like you know me being out here on the road every day getting up busting my ass hitting this road dealing with the bullshit that's out here with the traffic the weather dealing with these customers dealing with everything that us truckers got to deal with I figure why not just make this a channel on not only the truck life, but being I'm a big gamer also, why not include the gaming, you know, aspect to the trucking aspect? I and mean, make it this one big little setup back there. Not really much, but this is a little something that keeps me comfortable. Something that uh, helps kill the time when I'm out here on my downtime. And um, eventually I will get that, you know, improved, updated with some more uh, equipment. Um, I get a laptop, microphone, stuff like that and the camera, but once I get all that situated, my videos will be a lot better, better quality. But enough of that, that, that bullshit. Um, basically, this video is here. I'm putting this video right here now to let y'all know about my first year and a half over the road. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, when I first came out here, I did not want to be out here. I did not want to have anything to do with the trucking business because it's, it was new. It was it was different. It was it was challenging. It was hard. It was depressing. It was stressful because I had to be away from home, away from my kids, away from family, and it was just it was it was scary. It was a scary situation. The first six months, I would say, was hard. It was hard. Um, but as time went on, you know, and I'm very patient. I'm a very patient man. I. I I just deal with whatever I'm dealing with and and, and and work my way through it. I muscle through it. So being as though I have that that quality, I was able to deal with everything that was thrown at me. So being, with that being said, my first five or six months was rough. Um, I finally got the hang of it. Being a company driver, it's okay. The money's okay, but... I figure if I'm going to be out here, if I'm going to be on this road, I'm going to get the best of it. I'm going to get as much out of it as I can. So I decided to be a trainer after about uh, about seven months, seven to eight months. Um, became a trainer. And shortly after that, I became an uh, owner operator. <clears throat> you get to work with different people and not only work with them professionally, but you get to know them personally. And, and sometimes you make make good friends in this industry you can make a lot of good friends in this industry and you can make some enemies um just because i mean this is just like any other job any other profession there's always some people that's going to have that's going to hate on you as well as people that's going to be jealous of you because you're doing better than, than they are at the same thing that the same profession that they're doing um but as long as you don't let that get to you and it's do you do you want to shut the door you know so I'm here with my fifth student. I've been out here for a year and six months now, a year and five months, give or take. And since I became a trainer and owner operator, my stress level has been going down and down and down. And the only thing that really bothers me now, for the most part, is being away from home. Being away from home for weeks, months at a time, 
especially when you have young children at home, is the only challenge that I have right now. Because I feel like time is going by, kids are getting older, you're missing out on moments, you're missing out on birthdays, you're missing out on these special moments. And it's like, sometimes you question yourself, is it, is it worth it at the end of the day? And that answer could be yes or no. And for me, I say it's yes because my plan is not to do this forever. My plan is not to retire as a as a truck driver. I want to build up a business. I want to build up a brand. Of course, save money. You know, and not have to work because I have to, but work because I want to. I could take breaks in between. I could, you know, I don't have to. I won't have to work every day. I could just have people working for me, or, or just use this as a crutch to help me get further. You know, it's other avenues like real estate, buying properties, selling houses, or maybe even just owning properties and renting them out, or whatever the case is, or just starting looking to other business ventures. So this is a good uh, stepping stone for those people who want to look further and do those things so that's the mindset that i'm in now being so i'm making more money a lot more money than i ever have so i just want to share my thoughts and my experiences with y'all i'll let y'all know that if things are working out for you back at home or wherever come out here in the trucking man can't go wrong all right that was kind of salty right there y'all phone died on me while I was recording that video but back to what I was saying uh this last past year and a half it's been rough but I wouldn't change it for the world I didn't want it to happen but I'm glad it did I'm glad that I was able to come out here and learn what I, what I learned and able to and I hope that I'm able to help others get to where they might potentially want to be um so far I got a couple people in this industry um, who was having a hard time back out, back at home in Philly. And uh, there's people who I also knew on the job that was just now coming in and needed information and that were about to give up. And, you know, I pointed them to the right direction. Now they're doing very well in this industry. And like I said, I'm, I'm a baby in, in the truck industry. I'm still learning. Um, not even two years yet. But on closing, I just want to say that uh, give it a shot. You never know. This career, this industry could put you in to position a position to do greater things. It's gonna be hard. It's like anything else in the beginning, it's gonna be hard. But just stick with it. Don't give up. Have patience. Stay dedicated. Have a goal. As long as you have that goal, you're gonna go far in this industry. So um, I'm gonna get back to this. I got my suit out here uh, doing this pre-trick, about to hit this road. Um, I just wanna let y'all know what's going on with me. And um, y'all gotta be crying and shit, man. Sorry, my eyes is watering. But uh, yeah, uh, I just hope, I wish, I wish everybody the best out here, man. Come out here, try it out. Never know, man. It's not for everybody. It's a hard job. It's a dirty job. And uh, you know, like I said, it's not for everybody. But that don't that don't hurt for just coming out and giving it a shot. Let's try it. Come out and try, see how you like it. Um like I said, I won't plan to this forever. But I'm glad I came out here. I'm glad I was able to obtain the experience that I did and meet the people that I've met. I met a lot of great people out here in this country. Uh, being from where I'm, where I'm from, I'm not used to genuine, genuine people who care about your success, about your well-being, about how you're feeling. Um, they'll take the time out to just come, just come to, to take the time out to talk to you. They pull you to the side and ask you how you, how's your day, don't how's your day going? Need anything? Like I'm not used to that. So now I'm getting this attention from people who I barely know, like strangers. At, at that it, it was I kind of took a step back like you know are y'all are y'all are y'all genuine or is this is this fake or y'all my man pump or something like what's going on and lo and behold that's what it was man 
it's just genuine people out here that really want to see you make it. And it's sad because a lot of those people are not our people. Not our people. And uh, if, if me, personally, I love everybody. I wish everybody had the same heart that I had. Because I'm, I'm, I'm cut different from a lot of people. Um, but yeah, man. This is me signing out. I just want y'all to be good, stay healthy, stay safe. And uh, if y'all, anybody out there that's having a hard time, not knowing what they want to do in life, in between jobs or not sure what they want to do, what do what, what, what you got to lose? Just come out here. Let's give it a shot. And if it don't work out, then, you know, it don't work out. But you can say that you tried it. You know, so I'm going to get out of here, get back to this job, get back to training. And I'll catch y'all next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. Help me out. Help me grow this channel finally. And um, I'll catch y'all next video. Peace.